Welcome to my deep freezer and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Leah and today I'm going to get some meal prep done. Here I am just grabbing some biscuits that I already made and some sausage that is in my freezer. This is going to end up being 10 breakfast for my husband to take on his way to work. Oh my gosh, it's falling. The other ingredients that I'll be using today is some bacon that I've already cooked, some eggs, and random cheese that I can get out of the bottom of my cheese drawer. All right, so I need 10. I've got 10 biscuits. Two, four, six, eight. That's two more. Okay, got it. Ha ha. Y'all ready? I need sausage. I have some cooked bacon. And then I went ahead and took out this cheese. <laughs> and then I have 10 eggs. So we're gonna scramble these. I have biscuits already made from the last time I made them. Stuck them in my freezer. We're gonna put all of this together. I'll show you. Uh, nope. I love this sweater, so I should probably put on an apron. There we go. To cook the eggs, I decided to use my muffin pan. If you spray it really good, then you shouldn't have any issue with the eggs sticking. When I'm cooking, I like to clean as I go, and that really helps make sure that I don't feel like the kitchen is an overwhelming mess whenever I'm done working. So I'm just getting the dishes loaded into the dishwasher while I'm still waiting on the oven to preheat.
because I got these biscuits out of the freezer, I think they cut more smoothly uh, as opposed to if I had left them out on the counter for a few days and then decided to use them. I think in that case, they kind of would have crumbled a little bit more. I didn't track how long these took, but once I could stick a toothpick in and it came out clean, then I knew they were done. Cooking them in the muffin pan makes it really easy for them to fit the size of the biscuit, but they were definitely thick. If you wanted to, you could put less of an egg in each muffin cup and then you would have more egg rounds. Wrapping them in a paper towel allows them to stay separated in the freezer bag as well as keeps them from getting like a weird texture when you microwave them. And yes, I am fully aware that the bag says breakfast burritos, but we are just repurposing a bag from the last breakfast. The next thing on my to-do list was to process all this asparagus that I picked up for 77 cents a pound. Let's see. Oh yeah, see, it got a lot more asparagus. This was the second week they were running a really good sale on asparagus. So I picked up a bunch this time. Anytime I'm able to get a really good deal on produce, whether it's a major sale or markdown prices in the clearance bin, I like to immediately use what I want and the rest of it freeze. This is the first time I'm going to try these steamer bags. I love buying vegetables in the freezer section that you can just stick in the microwave. So this is the same concept. I'm going to fill them up with the asparagus after I have washed it, cut them into the portions I want, and then I should be able to just take them out of my freezer and microwave them just like a store-bought bag of vegetables. The only difference is instead of buying 10 bags for $50, I created 10 bags for $7. Along with the topic of freezing food, I'm going to go ahead and get this chicken taken care of. I like to buy a big pack for $1.99 a pound and then fillet the chicken into thinner pieces. I'm going to freeze a portion of it and label it, although I should have labeled the bag before it got wet. So anyway, I use a Sharpie, label the bag, and then the other portion, I go ahead and use some olive oil and then my favorite seasoning. And then I just bake it in the oven at 400 degrees until it's completely cooked through. It doesn't take very long, but this is gonna save a whole lot of time later in the week when whenever we wanna have a salad or have something ready for dinner. The last cooking thing on my agenda this weekend was something sweet. And I just happened to find a really good deal on a box of brownies, which 
I don't think you could ever go wrong with. So I just whipped those up according to the directions for a fudgy brownie. And of course, one of the best parts is getting to lick the spatula.